Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Green Gully Reserve for this Round 19 Victorian Premier League clash between Green Gully Cavaliers and Hume City. We're just about underway here at Green Gully Reserve. The referee's content. It's exactly 3 o'clock Australian Eastern time. And it's a Sargidwaro about to collect the football. Green Gully, the home team, in their home green and white kit. Entertaining Hume City in their red. And Green Gully undefeated in five attempts. On the turn. Good shot there on the turn. Coming in from Nick Hegarty. Straight into the arms of Reese Keane. Bentley triumphant by a goal to nil. And Moreland and Heidelberg, you feel, in fact, are relegated from the Victorian Premier League pace. That's a lightning crack. And look at the wind. Assist with that. Stephen Pace. Check out that ball just holding up on what is a boggy pitch. Whipped in again. Laid on the mat. And once again Fleming. But he's kept Pace onside. And Green Gully, the reigning champions, living dangerously. And this time, Richie Cardozo. That would have been the ultimate insult there. Ready to tap it in and mop it up on the line. Lovely transfer of the ball again. This man, Hegarty, causing Green Gully some headaches. Cutting on the inside. Chance here. And Rico Bennett has skied it. That would have been a great opportunity. Sanders. Cleared by Rico Bennett. Kickack to send it in. Hayne, what a grand final he had last season. And Sanders, the flag down, surely an obstruction. Correct decision there from the referee on Chris Oldfield. Sanders, as we'll see. Hayne, great assist. And Sanders, and he took Oldfield out before he had any piece of the football there. Sanders looking for some space on the turn. Well done by Rico Barnett. And now Hume with the assistance of the breeze. Petrovsky tipped out by Keane. And there you see why he's keeping Roganovic out of this squad. Great play. What about the assist? Whipped in there, the cross. Petrovsky free hitter. And Keane, beautiful save. Von Dyke. Hain out on the turn. Eduardo, Green Gully's best chance for the game, but they're not out of trouble yet, Hume. It'll be fired back in by Munoz against his old club too. Once again, just instructing Von Dyke to receive some medical treatment. They're temporarily down to, Hume, uh, to 10 men, Hume. It'll be sent back in again. Hegarty. And that's gone swimming in the Maribyrnong River. It really is a difficult game of football in these conditions. And a very simple mistake. And Eduardo, well, didn't really get excited thinking he was going to be offside there. But the flag stayed down. And as we'll see, Eduardo got the interception. He did, in fact, stay onside. And Martin John there, this time keeping Hume with a clean sheet. Hume and Gully looking to break this deadlock. A great chance here. Petrovsky makes the dummy and inches wide there. That ball being fired in by Hegarty. Fighting again. That man, Hegarty, is on fire. And Reese Keane will be relieved to see the end of him at the end of the match. Definitely is the more difficult end of the ground to play football. Vargas thought about pulling the trigger and does then. And he's not far off the mark either. There's a few shots from long range we've seen that have either completely missed the mark or been so close. And on that occasion, that one inches away. And it is a sea of footballers on the edge of the box. Hume... Gallantly looking to defend. Green Gully wanting to score. John punching a clear. Bissinger 
charge down. And there you have it, Martin John. That is the vital touch that will gift Hume a point, you feel. That was goal bound. A thinker came off. Fisher, that is a brilliant save, particularly Hume's second choice keeper at full stretch. In fact, I think it was Selamides there with the touch. And there you have it. Hume have got it at the death. They have turned defence into attack. And can you believe it? Jose Guerrero, it's Stephen Pace. And Guerrero there at the death has got the winner for Hume City. And the equation is simple. Green Gully will be sitting third on the table. They will not go to equal second. And Hume City, well, their aspirations of playing finals football are kept alive. Jose Guerrero, how many times has he done it this season? He did it against... Richmond, I think it was a couple of weeks ago, and he's done it again at the death. One of the hardest places to register a victory, and they will do it. And Hume have done what no other team have done to Green Gully, the reigning champions the last two months, and that is inflict defeat and halt Green Gully's charge towards a treble. And that result has huge ramifications on how the final five will look. And it also gives Hume City a lifeline in terms of playing finals football. And it's going to make that task a lot harder for the likes of Richmond and South Melbourne who are wanting to make a last-minute threat in qualifying for the top five. From me, Simon McCuskey, it's good night. And we'll be back with more Round 20 Victorian Premier League football next week.